What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of our MLB The Show 21 Road to the Show series with our two-way player, Everett Scott. And in the last episode, we finally got called up to the AAA team, the Iowa Cubbies. And we actually played pretty decent, both on the mound and uh, at bat. Um, I'm just now noticing that that thing on the table right behind the settings button is bright white. I am not sure it's supposed to be like that. I'm pretty sure it's just glitched out. But anyway, yeah, we had a pretty decent all-around episode uh, in the last one. Um, We did start off pretty shaky uh, with pitching, but we ended up having a quick inning, and that really uh, amped up Scott. And we came back and we started pitching pretty dominant. Something that did happen is we were last um, in the rotation, but now we are second. My overall is low at the moment because I'm currently on my hitter loadout because the next game that we are playing is either it's it's going to be a position or it's going to be at center field or as like a DH or something. Um but yeah, we got bumped up to the second spot in the rotation. So we would be so we finished off the episode pitching here. So this is when we got called up this series against Jacksonville. We were originally supposed to pitch in this one, but we did not. So I simulated up till this one so we could get some pitching in the last episode and we might be pitching the first and last game of this three-game series against the St. Paul Saints. Um, So it might just be these two games here in this episode. Um, But yeah, that could change. So we may not be pitching in this one, but I'm pretty sure we will. I don't see why they would flip around the rotation at the last minute like that. But anyway, I'm going to quit rambling, and we are going to jump into this second game of this three-game series here against the St. Paul Saints. Um, And like I said, we finished off the last episode with the first game, so potentially only two games in this one. But anyway, without further ado, we are going to jump into this game. All right, guys, so our first appearance at the plate in this game. We are a DH in this one, so no fielding opportunities. That'll be a little blooper to the third baseman. Thought he overthrew it there, but he did not, so that will end the first. All right, back up to bat now, bottom of the fourth. No one on, one out. No scores yet. Oh, there we go. That was good. That's gone. Second homer of the season for Scott. 418 feet. In the last episode, we got a 427-foot dinger. I believe it was in our second at-bat with the Iowa Cubs. And we get another one there to make it a 1-0 game. Very nice. All right, so back up to bat now in the bottom of the fifth after hitting a home run to center. I don't know why I swung at that. But we're up 2-0 now in the bottom of the fifth. Excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. Um, Oh, got me with that changeup. All right, I need to take a timeout. I'm, I'm not paying attention right now. I don't know why. All right, so let's refocus. Oh, that'll be a fly ball for the first baseman. All right, let's see if we can have a little bit more better of a show. I don't know how we could perform any worse than we did the last at-bat. But we have two on with one out. Tie game now. So a perfect opportunity for me to do something with the ball here. Not throwing me pitches like that, I can't. He might just walk me. All right, but I'm going to be watching the upper part of the zone here. He might pitch me something good. Well, he pitched me something pretty decent, but I just absolutely give him a can of corn. Not what I wanted to do with it. But we do win this one. A rather short game. That's what happens when you're a DH. All right, but we will go into the final game of the series where I think we will be pitching. All right, guys, so we are in the third game of this three-game series here against the St. Paul Saints, and we are indeed pitching. 
We pitched the first game of this series. It was our first AAA pitching appearance, and we did win that one, even though we started off kind of shaky. Hopefully we don't start off shaky in this one. But that'll go up the middle. The shortstop will have it, but I think he's got too much speed, and he makes it to first in time. All right. So we give up a hit with our first batter that we face, but that is all right. Not going to let it shake us. We still have plenty of the game left. Nice change up there. Just watch that one. Another change up low. Little blooper to third. Potential double play. And they get it. So that first hit doesn't come back to bite us, really. But we still have one more out we have to get here in the first. I think this guy had my number in the first game of this series. I think he ended up getting a double off me. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. Pitch him pretty cautious. Or be cautious when we pitch to him. Early swing there, but he managed to foul it off. All right, this four-seamer low inside corner. He absolutely crushed that one. But it is warning track power, thankfully. All right, so we are in the top of the second now. We had a pretty quick first. Only threw eight pitches in that one. Fouls that one off pretty much right down the middle four-seamer there. Going back to the four-seamer here. Got him swinging on that one. Now we're going to go to our curveball. Our curveball was kind of shaky for us. But hopefully it can be a little bit better in this one as we get him whiffing on it. First strike out of the night. All right, now we got Christian Stewart from Twilight coming up to bat now. All right, we must have a better ump in this one because the last ump we had in the last episode, he was absolutely atrocious behind the plate. All right, I want that one. I want it. I want it. I want it. Thank you. Up my fielding stats. All right, so two gone quickly now. Oh, this is the guy who has the very interesting batting stance. I swear I have never seen one like that. I ranted and raved about that in the last episode. I've just, I've never seen someone whose batting stance, they're literally, hold, literally just holding the bat out in front of them. I've never seen it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, in, it's just interesting. All right, 0-2 now. I thought he was going to tell me to throw a changeup three times in a row. I was going to say, no way, pal. Got him with that curveball, though. Our curveball's really working for us so far in this one. All right, so top of the third. Now we are up one nothing here. Going to start off with the curveball. Got us out of the last inning. See if it can start us off well in this one. And it does. All right, go with a four-seamer up and in. Fouled that one back. Now we're going four-seamer low inside corner. All right, and that should just be a simple little blooper to the shortstop, and it is. So one gone quickly in the third. We haven't even broken 20 pitches yet. At this pace, we'll be able to go the complete game. But obviously we still have plenty of the game left as we get him whiffing with the curveball. Go with the changeup now. Oh, he fouled that one off. All right, now we're going to try and get him to swing at this four-seamer outside of the zone a little bit. Fouled it off. We're pitching over 90 now. I just now noticed that with that four-seamer. Now let's see if we can cash him out with this curveball. No, he gets a hit of that. Shortstop dove for it, but he could not get it. Good effort, though, by the shortstop. All right, so we do have a potential double play opportunity, though. 
Starting off with a curveball. All right, so he did not bite on the curveball. Let's see if he bites on this one. Four-seamer up in the zone. He did not, but it is 1-1 one, one now. Another four-seamer. Two and one. Another four-seamer. Fouled that one off. Two and two. All right, good thing he called the curveball. I wanted to throw it. I feel confident with this one. Could be wrong. I was. Full count now. All right, so he fouled that off. All right, I'm going to go with the four-seamer up and in. Fouled it off. All right, I'm going to try something risky here. There. Ah! Oh, come on. I literally thought that was going to be called a strike. Come on. All right, so we walk a guy. I think that's like the first walk we've ever given up in a game that I've played. I could be wrong. Should be a simple little blooper for the shortstop, and it is. All right, so now we just got to get one quick out here, and we are good. Um, execute your pitch on time to record an out. Strike batter out without him swinging at the final pitch. I'll just go with this one. I can't really control if he does that or not, but... I can try. All right, well, challenge failed, but we get the out at second to end the top half of the third. All right, top of the fourth now, still working with this one-run lead. Starting off with a curveball low inside corner. Did not get him to bite on it. Going back to the curveball now. Oh, bounced off his glove there. I don't even know what the catcher was calling for, but I'm going four-seamer up and in. There we go. Another four-seamer up in the zone. There we go. Two and two. Back to even in the count now. Now this is where we get him. Change up low in the zone. Get him whiffing. No, he hits that pretty well. That will drop. Goes through the gap. Maybe get him at two. No, he'll be safe. At least the throw is actually on target there. Most of the time it's way off. All right, so gave up a double there to start off the inning. Not very good, but we start off with a nice strike there. All right, fouls that one off. 0-2 now is the count. Go to this change up. Got a piece of it. Oh, I fouled off that four-seamer. This guy's staying in it. Fouled that one off, too. This guy's going to fucking test me, isn't he? Didn't bite that one. There we go. Got him looking. Finally got him out. All right, so Christian Stewart from Twilight's back up now. Fouled that one off. If I keep making fun of this guy for having the same name as uh, Christian Stewart, the actress, he's going to fucking hit a bomb on me. I know it. Watches that curveball. All right. There we go. He got it. He retreats back to second. I was getting a little scared. I thought he was going to I thought he was going to let it drop. Thankfully, he did not. So two are gone now in the fourth. All right. Try a four seamer low. Think center fielder should have that and he does. All right. So he added two more runs. 
to our total. Up 3 nothing now. Nice curveball to start things off. Unfortunately, did not land where I intended it. Back to the curveball, though. There we go. That one worked a little bit better. Wants me to throw another off-speed pitch. This time a changeup. Ah, oh, he wanted to go on it. Wants me to go back to a changeup. Low inside corner this time. All right, didn't get him to bite. He better tell me to go four-seamer this time. Yeah, he does. All right, I'm not going to go where he told me, though. I'm going to try up and in. Absolutely crushes that foul, though. All right, going back to the curveball. Let's see if we can get him. Gotten a couple people whiffing on it, but he fouls it off. Four-seamer low inside corner. Fouls that one up. And the shortstop will put it away for the first out. All right, Royce Lewis now. See if we can get him out pretty quickly here. Absolutely crushes a four-seamer. And it gets past our right fielder. Or left fielder, excuse me. Oh, he's going three. We got him. Got a little too greedy. All right. So it did manage to get past our left fielder. But a nice throw to the cutoff over to third. He got a little greedy. And we have two gone now. Very nice. All right, so that definitely boosted my confidence a little bit. Hopefully it boosted Scott's as well. Nice pitch there to start things off. Try to change up here for a 60th pitch. Out of the zone. Going for another change up here. Ooh, bad release there. Got him whiffing on it, though. Right now back to the four-seamer. Try and get him out here. There we go. Got him looking. All right, so top of the sixth now. Still up 3 nothing. Start things off hot here. Ah, oh, come on, Blue. You got to call that in my favor there, buddy. Yeah, Scott's arguing with him. I don't blame him. That was definitely a strike. Going for a bunt, or f tips it off foul. Oh my fucking god. We have another fucking shit ass ump apparently. That was clearly a strike, idiot. Oh my fucking god. It should have been a fucking... All right, well, whatever. Just got to shake that one off. The ump was being an idiot there. That guy must have paid him some, paid him a fucking, paid him with a steak dinner or some shit before the game or something. The guy on first must have paid the ump with a steak dinner or something. I don't know why, but that's going to drop. No, it won't. Center fielder's got it. He'll retreat back to first. All right. Let's forget about that guy on first. Let's just focus on the next two at-bats. I was going to say at-batters. All right, that'll go foul. Go with the curveball here. Did we get him? Yeah, we did. Nice job with the catcher. That was close, too. Yeah, that was close. I feel like if I was the the Saints coaching staff, I'd probably challenge that. But maybe from that angle, it's a little bit more clear that he was out. So now that we have two gone, we have this guy to worry about here. Going with a curveball, trying to end it here. Got a piece of it. 
four seamer up and in. See if we can cash out with this one. Come on. This this guy just has my number. He gets on my nerves every time. There we go. Got him looking. That was probably in my favor, but I'll take it after that shitty call earlier. All right, so I'm still pitching now. Top of the seventh now. I got pulled after six innings pitched in the first game of this series. Go with a change up here. That'll get past the shortstop. That'll be a single. At least I can actually trust my teammates to throw accurate pitches. With the Smokies, none of their throws from the outfield were ever on point. They would always pull the runner or the players off their base. Christian Stewart up now. That should be a double play. There's one, and there's two. There we go. All right, so we're just about to throw our 80th pitch now. Start off with a change up here. Did not bite on it. Follow that up with a four-seamer. Two and oh now. Going with another four-seamer. He hit that one. He crushed it, but I think our right fielder has it, and he does. All right, so I'm pitching in the eighth now. Maybe we'll pitch this full game here. That'll be a nice hit up the middle to our center fielder. That was a bad throw. All right, so we give up a hit early here, but we're not going to let it throw us. Oh, he wanted to bite on it. There we go. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your Absolutely crushed it. That's gone. Down the left field line, headed the foul pole. <sighs> well, so much for a shutout. And I get pulled. But we still get the win. All right, so I was not credited with the uh, win, unfortunately. Even though he gave up a run, too. But, well, despite giving up that two-run bomb, I definitely still feel like that was a fucking fantastic game. We pitched seven innings, only gave up eight hits. We had five strikeouts, one walk. And, unfortunately, we gave up those two runs to make it a one-run game. But, thankfully... Well, they ended up getting another run after that to tie it. But thankfully, in the bottom of the eighth, we scored one to win. So, uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I did not get credited with the win. I feel like I definitely did deserve it, and I would have gotten it uh, if I wouldn't have given up those two runs. But, hey, we still pitched pretty well. Just those two runs that we gave up kind of kind of made it anticlimactic, I guess. But I'm going to end it here. Uh, I know it was only two games, and it was kind of a short episode, but the, la the last episode, I think, is going to be around, I don't know, 40 minutes, 35 minutes, something like that. I haven't even edited it, edited it yet. Yeah, I haven't even done all that stuff with it yet. I literally just recorded it, and then I immediately jumped into this one, um, so I do not know how long it is, but like I said, I will end this one here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. Let me know how you think I'm doing since I've been called up to the AAA, uh, AAA team. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. I'm really loving playing this game. It's been so much fun. If you couldn't tell, I've been playing this nonstop. I think I haven't uploaded anything else other than MLB for... Um, I don't know, two weeks, two weeks worth of uploads, I guess. Um, but uh, something to note before I officially end things here. Um, there will not be uh, three episodes of MLB this week because I am bringing back a series that I have not done in a while. Um, 
and that is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I plan on uh, later today, um, as I'm recording this anyway, I plan on recording a long episode for it. And obviously my plans could change, but as of right now, um, I do plan on recording a long episode for GTA San Andreas. So hopefully we can finish that series out. We're so close to the end of that game. I just need to, I just need to finish it. Um, I just, I haven't been wanting to play it with NHL. And then this game, I just, I haven't wanted to play it. So that will hopefully, like I said, might change, but as of right now, hopefully, uh, you'll get to see some Grand Theft Auto San Andreas content coming out, uh, next Saturday if everything goes the way it is and next Saturday as of the time I'm recording this I'm currently recording this on the 15th of May so it would be a week from today so but anyway I will officially end things now sorry for rambling on but I figured you guys might like to hear about that um but yeah so until next time guys take care